we decided to put the two services to a test and we're going to upload a fairly large file to a Dropbox account and a pCloud account and measure the time. Here we are in the Dropbox uh, account. We're going to select the file and as you can see, its size is 1.12 gigabytes. We're also going to start a timer so that we can track the time it takes to upload that file to Dropbox. As you can imagine, what is crucial about a cloud drive to act as an actual virtual hard drive is uh, the speed at which you upload and download files. This is what makes the difference between just keeping your files in the cloud so they don't take up space on your computer and actually being able to use them in real time and even if you're not connected to the internet at that particular moment. You can see that we're fast forwarding a little bit here because otherwise uh, the video would be unbearable to watch. The file is almost uploaded to Dropbox. There it is, it's ready. It took us 5 minutes 35 seconds um, approximately to upload that file to Dropbox. Now we're going to do the same thing with PCloud. We're going to upload a file through the web version of PCloud. As you can see, it's the same file, same size, 1.12 gigabytes, and we're going to start the upload. As soon as the file is uploaded, it will be synced into the desktop app, PCloud Drive, as well as uh, any of the mobile apps that you may be using. We've got PCloud for uh, iPhone as well as for uh, Android phones and we're soon going to have one for Windows Phone as well. As you can see we're almost done here. There it is, 53 seconds and the file is uploaded to PCloud and that is a much much faster than Dropbox and the winner is clear. Thank you for watching.